We've been where they are and they're just at the start of their journeys and just be, pass on some of our experiences, like all that injury prevention stuff, all the highs and lows we've been to and what an amazing facility for them to come to and think, oh, they can come back here and do some rehab, do some training, get in the pool. So, yeah, it's really nice to be here. Um, have you ever had a game which after it, where you've lost and after it you really want to give up netball? It was really good, it was a really great evening just to kind of be in the, this facility and kind of see what um, Harris and Ross provide. Um, and just being with these girls, they were so enthusiastic yeah, and just were. so amazing. The questions they asked and just the energy they had was just amazing to work with this evening. Big bunch of excited uh, young girls there and I think even some of the mums were pretty excited about uh, meeting the girls as well. <laughs> they were showing us up, yeah, weren't they? they? Really were. And some of those girls, they picked, up, they picked it up a lot quicker than a lot of the England team, yeah. so yeah, really proud of them. I guess. When we're thinking about injury prevention, particularly in, say, netball and the things we see there like knee injuries, uh, ankle injuries, a lot of it can be prevented with looking at their alignment and uh, their mechanics and that's the sort of thing that podiatry can, can really help with in terms of gait analysis and seeing where there's an issue and then the physiotherapy aspect to try and help strengthen and stretch the, the right structures as well. Yeah. Day of having a cheat day like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What would you choose? Christmas dinner, like pigs in blankets, all that kind of stuff. The lunch I could have gone bananas. Probably something I would have loved to, to speak to the England players and, and what we see as day to day, like what do you eat, to them it's like they really want to know. So what you think is not important, it actually is important what you do day to day and it's like your habit and you almost don't think about it. It's really good information for them to know to improve their game as well. When I was younger as well, I didn't necessarily have um, this connection with elite athletes at all, especially female ones. So to be able to be in this environment and speak to these young girls and just talk about our experiences with them and hear those, their questions, it was just really great this evening. It's, it's very, very very important to learn these sort of lessons very early because actually um, it is part of their development to becoming a professional athlete if that's what they want to do. There were some super talented youngsters there today and I think uh, the future of England netball is very bright indeed. It was so important for these girls when they're getting older and just so they know exactly what, what's, how they should feel and all the different things they can focus on in training. I didn't have any idea about rehab or weights or anything until I got on the England team when I was 18 so these girls are so lucky that they've got this on the doorstep and they can learn all that and, and do lots of injury prevention and they've just got so much, they're really yeah. lucky.